thought that there were two uh, people that could introduce him um, better probably than anyone else. Um, this is a, a very um, kind of an emotional time for us as a family and, um, and we're just so proud. So I'd like to introduce Maddie and Lily who have the great honor of introducing Ken. We are so excited to have the opportunity to introduce our dad, Howard County Executive Ken Olbin. As long as we can remember, our dad has always worked his hardest for the citizens of Howard County. It's because he loves Howard County, almost as much as he loves us. <laughs> our dad is an amazing person who always puts in 100% into everything he does. He has always taught us how to give back every day how to work hard every day, even on the toughest of days. Like the day we found out that Howard County was ranked the number two place to live in America and not number one. That was a tough day in our house. But seriously, we honor him, we honor him today for the work he has done in Howard County. Maddie and I honor him, honor him for being an amazing dad. He has taught us to be kind-hearted, to care for others. Our dad is our biggest supporter, and we are his. <laughs> Before we bring you up, we just want to let you know, Dad, how much, how much we love you. <laughs> and while we are proud of everything you have accomplished here in Howard County, we are even more proud to be your daughters. It is our honor to introduce our dad, Ken Holman. Maddie and Lily and Jackie, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you for not only sort of putting up with my schedule and my um, desire to serve the public, but frankly for embracing it and joining me on this journey and being my partner in it, all three of you. So uh, a round of applause for the First Lady and Maddie and Lily. try to get through this. Wow, it's going to be tough. I'm going to be uh, be brief. I want to recognize uh, my parents, uh, Lou and Diana, and thank you for your support. <laughs> to make my joke one more time, thank you for having me. Uh, I do that because it makes me laugh, and maybe like two of you, I think, uh, on that. Um, I want to recognize... Um, some of the other elected officials who are here. Um, I want to thank you for the partnership that we've had, members of the county council, members of the state delegation. Uh, I know I see Mary Kay Sigety. Thank you for your partnership. Courtney Watson, Calvin Ball. Did I miss any other council members? Uh, thank you to the three of you who have been uh, with me for all eight years as partners and the success that we've had together. So have a round of applause for... Members of our state delegation, Frank Turner, uh, Steve Dubois, thank you both for being here. I see, I was going to save Jim for a moment. Anybody else? <laughs> state delegation. Um, I want to thank Senator Roby. You now have the fortune or misfortune of uh, being next to me for a long, long time. <laughs> somebody else to join you on the other side you and you and Chuck were uh, you know spent a lot of time together you needed somebody on the other side I, um, and, uh, and uh, I want to thank uh, uh, county executive elect Senator Alan Kittleman uh, for being here and for your service I told him we'll have to shift everybody down at some point uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, I want to wish you nothing but the best uh, of fortune in the future uh, and um, 
certainly have everyone's uh, support. Uh, listen, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for being here. The folks who uh, have worked directly either today, worked directly for Howard County, or have worked during the last eight years for Howard County, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, actually it was Alan, asked me the other day, said, what's, uh, what's your favorite part about being county executive? And I said, uh, getting to work with the wonderful men and women who work for the citizens of Howard County. It has been an absolute honor to work with you every day. Uh, and I want to just, on behalf of the 300,000 citizens who call Howard County home, thank you. And on behalf of me personally, uh, thank you. Everything that we've done, uh, we were only able to do because of the wonderful men and women who uh, have made up our team. So uh, let's give everyone a round of applause. For and, uh, and friends and family, uh, thank you for uh, supporting me uh, throughout this journey. I also want to have a special shout out to uh, Danielle Labus, who is a brilliant photographer whose work you will you will get to see in just a moment uh, around the corner. So uh, Danielle, thank. Don't clap yet. You haven't seen it yet. So uh, you, know, you don't know. Uh, just kidding. It's, it's a joke. Uh, but listen, I, I'm going to be very brief. I, I uh, there's a a document that you can read, all the wonderful things that we've done, so I'm not going to go through through that. I just want uh, you to know, when I look back over the last eight years, um, the work that was done here gave us a unbelievable platform uh, from which to grow. And uh, from day one, we focused on uh, the basics, making sure we were a great quality of life, great schools and libraries, and I'm not going to go through the accolades, you know them all, but I do want to tell you that um, none of these things happen by accident. They happen because We've got a great team. We've invested the taxpayer dollars well. Uh, education every year, we've been number one when it comes to the education funding index. We have the lowest uh, student to teacher ratio in the state of Maryland. Those things matter. Those things, those choices that uh, we've, uh, the choices that we've made together, the library system, the park system, uh, the quality of life, being safe. And I know some of our public safety team is, is here today and, and I want to thank you. Uh, at the same time, we've known that we must have a thriving business climate to have the revenue to be able to invest in those things. And so I am proud, lowest unemployment rate in the state of Maryland every year for the last eight years, and more private sector jobs were added in Howard County. Even though we're the sixth biggest in population, more private sector jobs were added in the last five years combined than any of the 24 jurisdictions in Maryland. That's a tribute to many of the folks in here who have done a great job making this a good place to do business. I know when I traveled around the state, I had people say, you know, when you go into Howard County, when you go to these front counters, people are, are uh, helpful, pleasant, they get their job done professionally, and that's really a testament, again, uh, to the team that we have here. But one of the things that I've also thought about is we also, from day one, tried to say, okay, what is this county going to look like in 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years, and how do we act in a, a, as proactive a way as possible to prepare us for that future. So that's why we focused on land use and investments like in Town Center Columbia to make sure that we're thriving not just today but in the future. That's why we focused so much on Merriweather as an anchor to Town Center. That's why we focused on making sure we had a plan so that older village centers can be revitalized, whether it's a wild lake uh, through the developer or whether it's uh, uh, taking the leap of investing directly in Long Reach Village Center and making sure that we are a catalyst to say it is uh, not okay to have sort of run-down, blighted areas of the county. We can all thrive if we have the right system in which uh, to put in place. That's why we said, okay, what's the infrastructure of the 21st century going to look like? That's why we made sure we invested in broadband to make sure that we're a wired, connected place. And then when we have the ability to go into Phelps Luck Elementary School, as we did just a few weeks ago, and be the first place in the state of Maryland to actually have telemedicine, in schools so that children can go see a doctor and have their parents on the screen interacting with them and the doctor from the school. Those are the kinds of things that really make a difference in a community. When it comes to the environment, I think back to the, the discussions around blue bins and to think about, you know, that the time that was a discussion. Should we be doing this? Should we not? Imagine the county without those blue bins. And by the way, we distributed over 91,000 blue bins. You know, that was eight years ago. Now we moved to green bins and to composting. And we have the, one of the largest water reuse projects in North America that will be turned on uh, just this uh, March. Over 5 million gallons a day will be pumped over to Fort Meade, saving our environment, saving them money. That's the kind of infrastructure that does, in fact, I think, position Howard County to thrive in the future. When it came to housing, we said, look, 
let's try housing a new way. Let's see if we can create full spectrum housing with with green, uh, you know, green features and full amenities. And then you look and you think of uh, what we've been able to do at Hilltop that is now Burgess Mill or Guilford Gardens that's now Monarch Mills, you know, creating that infrastructure of the 21st century as a model. And so when I think of all these things, again, I'm incredibly proud that we were able to do them, but I keep coming back to the fact that it's one thing to have an idea, it's one thing to, to say this is where we're going to go, but unless you have the team around you to execute, uh, it's just an idea. So lastly, let me just again say thank you to each and every one of you who played uh, a large role, a small role, any role in helping us achieve on behalf of the citizens and businesses of Howard County what we've been able to achieve over the last eight years. I'm really proud of it. It's been a tremendous, humbling honor to serve as county executive for the last eight years. And without further ado, let's go uh, pull the curtain off a picture and uh, a portrait and uh, spend some time together. So thank you all very much, and uh, let's do it.